What is teeth whitening? Teeth whitening is involves a broad spectrum of applications, treatments we do for whiter teeth. I think we gotta first differentiate between staining and discoloration. Staining happens because of the deposits on the teeth. At the beginning, we get rid of those, and then we gain the natural, natural color of the tooth. Then we move on with the bleaching, the whitening of the teeth. There, there are too many causes for teeth to discolor. Sometimes the teeth are, their color, their natural color is yellow because of too many reasons. But sometimes the, the animal structure is discolored and you can whiten it with chemicals. How does bleaching work? I explained the difference between staining and discoloration at the beginning. We got rid of the stains and now we move on with the solution of the discoloration. Discoloration is caused by the agents buried deep inside the enamel. We remove the, those discoloring agents by applying a gel on the enamel which dissolves them, pushes them out of the enamel uh, with a chemical reaction. Does teeth whitening damage the enamel? Teeth whitening agents do not harm the enamel. They only work on the discoloring agents buried inside the enamel and the chemical reaction between them removes those agents out of the enamel. After the application of the agent, the enamel becomes susceptible to discoloring agents for a while, but it, this period only lasts a week or so after this process the enamel is like healed by the minerals inside the saliva and uh, all the pores are closed. What are the different teeth whitening options available? There are two types of bleaching procedures we apply. One of them is uh, office bleaching. We do it on the chair uh, with a light emit emitting source to enhance the bleaching process. The other being applied by the patient at home uh, with the gel we provided inside the tray also we provide it. How long does a teeth whitening procedure take? Uh, office bleaching takes around one and a half to two hours. Home bleaching procedure is completely dependent on the concentration of the gel and how frequent patient does apply the gel. Is teeth whitening painful or uncomfortable? Also, are there any effects of teeth whitening? Teeth whitening is not painful. After the teeth whitening process, a slight sensitivity against cold is expected for a while. Most of the patients do not experience it, by the way. Uh, but if there are too many craze lines or cracks on the teeth, the bleaching process might become painful. And uh, we let the patient know about it. And uh, after uh, the, the initiation of the bleaching process, if patient has discomfort, we stop the process immediately, but it is very rare. How can I maintain my whiteness for a longer time? It completely depends on uh, the patient's diet. If the patient is a heavy smoker, if the patient is consuming 5-10 cups of coffee every day, then it is expected to last less. But if the patient's daily routine do not involve discoloring agents in the foods, then it is expected to last at least a year or so. Can I whiten my teeth if I have dental restoration such as Crohn's or Winners? There is no way to whiten the restorative materials because the chemical process which involves the whitening procedure does not apply on the restorative materials. But staining is a different issue. If a good aftercare is not performed, stains might accumulate on the restorations just as natural teeth and might color discoloration. If it happens, just the regular cleaning of the restorations would be enough for uh, gaining the original color of the teeth. Can I eat and drink normally after teeth whitening? The patient is not supposed to consume food having discoloring agents in them for at least a week or so. At the same time, teeth are a little bit susceptible to causing a sensitivity during the consumption of cold food. So the patient is advised to avoid them also. Can I whiten my teeth if I have sensitive teeth? As I mentioned previously, patients having sensitive teeth are more prone to becoming more sensitive after the whitening procedure. So for those patients, we start the whitening process by blocking uh, the areas which are susceptible to, to uh, causing uh, sensitivity with an agent and we start the procedure. If the patient experiences pain or discomfort during the procedure, we stop the procedure immediately. 
What if I'm not happy with the results of teeth whitening? Sometimes teeth whitening process might require boosting appointments or boosting applications. So during those cases, if the case is okay, then we move on with boosting appointments. Can teeth whitening remove all types of stains? As I mentioned previously, staining can be solved with just a regular polishing. But there are some types of discolorations that might be caused by different reasons. For example, if the tooth is traumatized and the nerves inside the tooth have died out too many years ago, the discoloration must be applied. The discoloration does happen from inside out. So we have to, for example, we have to do, for this single tooth, we have to do root canal treatment and internal bleaching to bleach the teeth from inside out. Or the tooth has been discolored structurally. For example, enamel is affected during the childhood, for example, because of antibiotics used during the childhood, then this discoloration can only be solved to a certain degree, then we have to move on with restorative treatments to solve the issue. Are there any natural remedies for teeth whitening? There is a good answer to that. The most effective way of whitening your teeth is brushing your teeth. Sometimes patients do go sideways to gain a whiter teeth, but uh, most of the time, almost 100% of the time, they end up very bad. If you apply abrasive agents on your teeth, it causes permanent removal of the enamel tissue, which is a big problem. The only way to solve it is uh, applying a restorative treatment, sometimes a prosthetic treatment. Or application of those chemicals or abrasive agents causes your gums to recess and exposure of the roots and this also ends up with a prosthetic or restorative treatment so we do not recommend our patients to apply remedies to whiten their teeth always go professional thank you for answering our questions see you in another videos thank you so much thanks for having me bye